What's up everybody, it's the RCLMN here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get past this message if you're trying to use either Oculus Link or your Oculus Rift and your CPU is not quite as good as Oculus would like you to have it. Specifically if it does not support SSE 4.2. So for my specific situation I bought a Oculus Quest because Steam VR said that my PC would be good enough. And then when I ran it, the Oculus app gave me this message saying that my CPU just didn't have the SSE 4.2 support. So I'll show you how you can bypass this and basically trick your or trick the app itself into thinking you do have a better CPU than you do. So just to give credit where credit is due here, there'll be a couple of links in the description. The first one will go to this original article here or not article. It's, it's a web page. But anyway, uh, this guy kind of goes into detail about what happened with him and, and you know what he did and, and how he got past it. The second link in the description will be a Reddit post where somebody went through and kind of just gave you more step by step of what to do. And this is what I followed to do it. I will still go through it with you guys just in general to show you some steps on what to do. So first of all, what you want to do here is download the SDE. So what you do, you click here, um, or it'll be the third link in the description. I'll, I'll label it there for you. But it'll take you to this website here, right? And what you're doing is emulating basically a, an Intel processor. Um, you're tricking, like I said, the app into thinking you have a better processor than you do. Now, I have an AMD processor, um, and it's tricking it into thinking I have Intel. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know, what you have. It, it'll still It'll still work. But you go down to download here and it will take you to this page and you go down here. Now I downloaded this one for Windows, but if you have a Mac, you can use that or Linux, you can use that. But you download this file. For me, it went straight into downloads, depending on wherever you have it set up is where it will go for you. But since I had it straight in downloads, it'll go here. The next step here is to unpack the files. When I first did this, I did not have a way to unpack the files. So what I had to do was download WinZip. I mean, you can try it for free. You know, it, it won't do anything. It'll still work for you. So once you have it here, wherever you, you downloaded it, and once you download the WinZip there, or whatever method you have to unzip it or unpack it, right click and hit open with whatever program you have. With WinZip specifically, you want to say use evaluation version, and you want to hit yes on the first prompt here. Yeah, so you hit yes here. And it'll do this. All right. And it'll ask you where you want to unzip the files to. Now, I've already done it, but I did do it here in the documents folder. You can choose another place, but I would say just to keep it simple, just do it in documents folder. And then it'll run the program and everything. Just go ahead and let it do its thing. So once you're done, like I said, mine went into documents. So I'll go into documents here. You'll have a folder with the same name here. So the next step is to download the Oculus setup. Uh, dot executable so I believe this works for the oculus link software and the rift s software if you have a rift but specifically I used it for oculus link because that's what I was wanting to do so you download that file once you download it wherever you the next step here is to move it into that file that was just made so essentially if I show you at least what I did here it was in downloads I moved it from downloads into this file which is the one we just made so there it is in there now the next part you're going to use the command prompt and run it as administrator so go here type in cmd and then right click here hit run as administrator and then you want to hit yes all right so now that you're on the command prompt whoops now that you're on the command prompt you want to get the the path to where that folder is or actually the path to where the oculus setup is now where, where you put the oculus setup what you're going to do is type in cd space and then your pathway and the way that i do it typically is i'll go i'll open up a notepad just a blank notepad and i'll go to here wherever it is go here so it's all highlighted blue copy paste there and then bring up the command prompt just so you don't have to flip back and forth and then yeah cd space and then type in your pathway all right so once you've got all that typed in just hit enter it'll be brought here now 
you're going to move to the next step, which is just to run the file. So you're just going to type this in here on the command prompt. Let's go here. Let's type in SDE space dash dash space Oculus set up dot exe. Now I'm not actually going to hit enter here because I've already done it, but once you hit enter, it will run the, the file. However, it will take a little while, I guess because it's emulating it, it just takes longer. Um, it took about three minutes for the actual setup to pop up on my computer. And it took about another 30 minutes for it to actually install. Uh, and in my case, actually the first time it gave me an error and then the second time it actually went through and worked. But once you actually have it up and running, uh, you'll have to sign in and, you know, agree to the terms. And well, I think you agreed to the terms beforehand. But uh, yeah. And then after that, uh, uh, you can just play games. Um, now there is an extra step here that says uh, you may need to install drivers. I fortunately did not have to do that. But just be aware that that is uh, something that can happen. And hopefully this helped you guys uh, bypass that check. If you did find the video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see y'all, man. Outs.